and welcome back to a new episode of the conversion of lifeboat Huga. I've just thought I'd take you outside to show you the nice weather for once. We've had a lot of rain the last couple of days, but they're promising us some nice weather. So what I'm intending to do is to cut out the windows on the starboard side. You have seen the one on the port side they are going to be copied on the starboard side and i've already made a start by using a hole saw to cut the corners because they've got a slight radius on them so you don't get a sharp corner where there's a chance of them breaking out two windows to go in and uh, it's exciting after i've cut the hole i'll have to turn the boat around do some filling and fairing and hopefully I'll get that done before the rain starts. I hope you enjoy. I'll be using for cutting out the um, openings for the window is my reciprocating saw which is a bit of a beast I've got a um, metal cutting blade in there this one's already been well used so I'll change it for a new one um, it's good for quickly cutting through GRP as it is a beast as you can see and I'm not too bothered about getting too straight a line at this point in time because I can always get it smooth with a sanding disc in my angle grinder which is going to be much faster than try and cut it uh, perfect in one go. Here we are. I've got the cut the two openings for the windows. Uh, not a bit of doing but um, they're there now and I will have to do a bit of filling and fairing on the outside before the windows can go in like I had to do on the other side but I'm really happy with how it brightens up the place it gives me a lot more light inside and uh, it's nice to be looking outside the other side as well to be honest so I've turned the boat around again as you can see uh, which means I can do some filling and fairing on this side. I did quite a bit on this first hatch as I knew that that was going to be sealed up anyway. Um, and the windows are cut out this week. They still need a bit more filling and fairing. As you can see, there's quite a difference in there to get to the right thickness. But um, yes is getting there which is good so I make my own concoction of thickened polyester which is basically resin and then some colloidal silica which is a, a powder mix that in um, it thickens and it gives it strength as well give that a good stir good thing about polyester is because you can put the hardener in after you made the 
the mixture there's no rush because it won't go off with the epoxy you'd put the hardener in first and then you'd have to mix it up which gives you a bit of time pressure but this can take as long as you like really within reason of course if you leave it for weeks and weeks it will go kind of thin, thick and gooey but uh, this is much easier to work with so another thing I use in my mixture is a little bit of glass fiber um, I've got two lengths three millimeter which is this is really fine stuff and I've got some six millimeter stuff as well and this basically gives it somebody and makes it uh, more structural with the little fibers in imagine they overlap and kind of grab into each other hold on and that's um yeah makes it quite a strong paste this is a bit of a pig to um sand afterwards but that's what we use the polyester car body filler for and that's um for the fine tuning getting it really nice and smooth because if you try and do that with this you'd be forever and a day but you can see how nicely it thickens so i've done my filling with the thickened polyester it looks very rough um don't want to spend too much time trying to get it perfect because that wouldn't work anyway with the fibers in it it kind of keeps rolling up if that makes sense so once this is hardened and gone off I can sand that kind of roughly and then it's time to break, break out the um, polyester car body filler which is um, much smoother, easier to sand and much easier and nicer to apply as well. But this is basically just to bulk it out and um, hopefully I can do some more today. Hello, at the end of this episode I'll show you how far I got. And I'm sad to say that I haven't gotten quite as far as I'd hoped. But um, there's rain expected for the next couple of days, shall we weather. So this is how far I got. I've got the rough filling and fairing done. This um, stuff is the uh, car body filler, which ne will need sanding. And then I should be very close to actually putting a window in. But that will have to be a, another episode. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.